Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for October. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Re Venus and I just felt like it was the appropriate time to do Leos. It's screaming at me, obviously. So it's time to do Leos. I was just sitting here before I turned the camera on and I was just like rubbing my head and it's just like why? Why, 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 why? And I'm not, I'm not questioning anything. I'm not, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I'm good. So I, I mean, I'm just, I'm like, that's what I, I was getting ready, just meditating, asking God, spirits, universe to come here and assist me with the readings that I'm about to do today. And knowing that Leo was up next because I just knew that. Okay. Um, and it wasn't planned. Okay. It wasn't planned to be next. I do them as I'm called to do them. All right. So anyway, um, and I'm just sitting here rubbing my head and I'm like, oh my goodness, you may be having headaches or you may be feeling overtired. You may be getting frustrated. You may be feeling overwhelmed. Um, I think, you know, there, there could be some hard feelings there. Life may have thrown you a few obstacles that you're dealing with and you need to find your strength because I just saw the nine of wands. You need to find your strength to overcome these obstacles. I feel like you are finding your strength or you're about to. I do. I feel like you are about to. I, I see a big a new beginning coming because I just saw the world card. So something, it's like you've learned some sort of lesson. You've graduated, okay? That is the world card. Lesson learned, whatever. Some, or something is over. Some, something significant in your life is over. And you can chalk it up to a success because it was. Whenever you learn a lesson, whether even if it was a hard lesson with the nine of wands, okay? lesson learned. Okay. So I think that you may have learned, maybe you've learned a hard lesson. That lesson's learned. Check it off your bucket list. Okay. Because it has been, it's over. It's done. The world is the, is a major completion. It's done. So now it's time. Now it's, it's really, really time. We're going to start right here, um, to get the justice that you deserve because I just saw justice. So apparently you're going to get something that you deserve, okay? It's time, right? It's time. Now that you've had the final uh, whatever, because justice is about finality, and so isn't the world card. So now that something is final or something is finally over, a decision has been made, now you get some sort of justice. So I think you're going to get some sort of justice in some way. What do we got for Leo, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? recovery of something it's like a recovery of something harmony you're gonna get some sort of satisfaction you're gonna get something i don't know what it is <sighs> give your relationship a chance work on your partnership okay maybe i'm just gonna be honest with you i mean this came out reverse we're gonna keep it i mean we're gonna i'm gonna flip it over because i know you guys want to be optimistic and all Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I don't know what this is. Now partners can be anybody. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. We get a lot of people that only have a one track mind. They look at these romance angel cards and it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friend. This could be um, a family member. Could be, you know, whoever it is. This could be a romantic partner. Partner. This is a separation. Time apart from somebody is on the horizon. This did come out reversed. You know, maybe you've been trying to make something work that isn't meant to be. Now, I opened a book before I did your reading. It wasn't a tarot book. It was a poem book. It's out in the kitchen. I, should, I wish I would have brought it in. But I knew you guys were next, okay? I did. Anyway, um... <laughs> Actually, last night, I knew you guys were next when I took out that boot Buddha. But anyway, we won't talk about that right now. Anyhow, um, it was a poem about let go and let God. I gotta go get it. I, I opened the book right up to it. I hate to go get it right now. It's, but I'm gonna go get it. Hopefully, I'll open right up to it again. Just hold on a minute, okay? I don't know if I can, if I'll be able to find it again. Um, I don't know if I will. Anyway, it's about let go and let God. I opened right up to it. 
Hold on, I'm trying to find it. I really feel like it is for you. It's about surrendering. Surrendering to God. When you really, really, really surrender. Oh, oh well. Anyway. You know, maybe, maybe it's time to just believe and trust and have faith. Have faith that there is a plan for you. Have faith that... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Let go and let God. Have you ever tried praying about it? That problem with that clouds your day? And it's funny because I was rubbing my head. Have you ever tried turning it over to God and letting him have his way? Have you ever tried saying, thy will be done, and practiced just letting go? Knowing he'll guide you out of the fog of that problem that troubles you so? You'll find he is ready to help you. You only need to open your heart. He's waiting and willing to carry the load. The letting go is your part. Don't try to control it. Just, just, just let it go. Whatever it is, there's something that you need to surrender. You just need to surrender. Somebody may be, be holding on to a relationship and it doesn't have to be romantic. Okay? That really doesn't serve them. And you have to let it go. And I know that's what this is. I absolutely know that that is what this is. Something needs to be let go of. And I'm going to leave it reversed because I have to. Anyhow, what do we have for Leo? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. We have a new beginning here. We do. We really, really do. But it's after you let go. That's what that, that book just said as well. You have to surrender to God. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. Not for you. I can't make this shit up. There is something that is not for you. The answer is nope. You see the nope up there in the fortune cookie? It says nope. Okay? Not for you. There's something that you need to let go of. There's a reason. Okay? There's a reason. Trust. Have faith. that God knows. Okay? What is best for you. So what do we have for Leo? What do we got for Leo? October. Keep in mind this reading is for October. Okay. October. The Empress reversed. Well, damn. Uh, this is a person who doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. This is a person who chases after people because they don't know their value. They're lonely. You know, they just want attention. Uh, I know who she is, okay. The Empress is, uh, selfish, doesn't care. You could be dealing with this person, or this could be you, okay. Don't point the finger at somebody else, either. If it's you, take ownership of it. The Hierophant. <laughs> You could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? This is the Hierophant reverse. There's no faith. There's no trust. No faith in God? Hierophant is a higher power. Such as God. Okay, such as God is a higher power. It is. You don't have faith. You don't trust. You don't believe. Well, if you don't believe, you don't receive. Eight of Pentacles, not putting in effort, not trying hard enough. Hmm. six of wands lack of confidence not making much progress I mean I don't want to give you guys a negative reading I do not but this is obviously something you need to hear right I can't I can't change it because you need to hear it that's the way it goes I'm sorry that is I would love to give you guys the positive reading. And that's why it's like you can't. There, there's negative aspects that have to be accepted in your life. I don't want to deal with it. Right? The eight of pentacles reverse. I don't want to deal with it. It's like you're losing faith. This is somebody who can grow anything. Somebody that can create anything in the upright. You can, if you decide to put in effort, if you find your confidence to create, you can get whatever you want. 
But you got to have faith. You got to believe. You got to have trust. You got to look, think outside the box. I feel like you guys are really on the defensive. You probably feel like everybody is pointing the finger at you, right? Is that what you, how you feel? Everybody's pointing the finger at you and you're up against the world. I feel as though you guys are probably in defense mode. You may feel like you're being attacked. Yeah, you probably feel like, when is this going to end? This is overwhelming, right? The Ten of Swords. Look at that. You're so close. You're so close. All you got to do is find the strength within you to inch a couple, a little bit further. Okay, inch a little bit further. Even though you're down, don't stay down. Find it inside of you to keep going. You may feel like you've been stabbed in the back. Looks like by multiple people. You probably feel like people have been stabbing you. People have been uh, attacking you. Maybe you feel like you've been misjudged. Maybe you have. But it feels like you you need to find your confidence. And the Six of Wands reverse, that's lack of confidence. You need to find your confidence. You need to find your strength as well. You can't just lay there and play dead. Maybe maybe you need to get up and, and, and fight. Okay, maybe you need to fight back, Leo. And that's the thing. <laughs> maybe you do need to fight back. Three of Swords. Pain. Painful. Look at that shit. You guys are, are really dealing with some pain right now. Maybe even heartache. Maybe even heart pain. Okay? There's pain in your heart, right? You may feel like you're so, so, so alone. There's a lot of pain here. There is. I can see it. There is a lot of pain. You may be, you may feel like, you know, you probably feel like you can't trust anybody. You probably feel like somebody, if somebody has obviously hurt you very badly and left you to die by the looks of things or left you, yeah, obviously, take a look. Somebody's getting away with it. You're letting them. I'm delivering the truth. Whether I like it or not. Ten of Cups, reverse, end of a relationship. There's no more happiness here. Uh, there's a relationship, whether it's a family dynamic or it's a friendship or it's a relationship that there's, it's like this, it's over. There's no more happiness. There's no more growth. It's, it's falling apart. There is definitely relationship problems here. Could be with your children. Okay. I'm not sure if it's with your children. Could be with the child. It could be with the mother of your children. Could be with your own mother. Four of Pentacles reversed. It's time to release. It's time to open up. It's time to share what you know. It's time for you to speak up. Or maybe it's just time for you to let go of the fear that you are holding within you. Let go of the lack of self-confidence. Let go of the pain. Let go of your, the people in your life that don't support you. That don't bring you anything solid. That don't bring you anything good. Let go of them. Clean them out. You know. If people don't support you. get Take them out of your life please. You can't. You can't. Let those people steal your energy. And it feels like they are. Eight of Wands reversed. This is block. Block. Block people that do not support you. Block people that hurt you. Block people that cause you pain. Block them. You will probably be blocking people this month. 
that have stabbed you in the back. This is blocking. Stabbed you in the back. If they're mirroring each other in that spread. So yeah, I think that you should be blocking people that have stabbed you in the back. For good. You need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself. Page of Wands reverse. You're dealing with somebody, a negative Nelly. Negative Nelly. You're de dealing with a Debbie Downer. Now this could go vice versa. Okay. Just saying. We got somebody here that has no ambition, has no drive. This is somebody that has the, is very pessimistic. This is somebody that has a self-image problem. Doesn't have anything good to say about anybody. This is somebody who uh, speaks without thinking. You're better off on your own, Leo. You're better off on your own. You have all the skills. You can be very successful on your own, just saying. You don't need to be dealing with somebody who doesn't even like you. I'm just being honest with you. You have the strength. You have the skills to be successful. It's time for you to enjoy life. Be grateful this storm is over or it's just about over. If you've been worried about your money, you could see an increase in your money. Maybe you focus on your job. You focus on your income. You don't focus on being friends with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Focus on you for a little while. Eight of Swords reversed. Now, what we have all we have three eights, okay? And all three of them are reversed. Eight of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, Eight of Wands reversed. You know, eights are limitless abundance, right? You are blocking your own abundance by not removing obstacles from your life. The Eight of Swords is an obstacle that needs to be removed. In this in this case, it's obstacles. With, with an S, it's plural. It's not worth it. It's not worth it anymore. Okay? It's time for you to go someplace else. Find, find new people. Relocate. Do whatever it is that you need to do. This is relocate. There's no more growth there. You've reached the full uh, harvest. It's done. It's over. You've got to go someplace else. You've got to plant your seeds someplace else. Start over someplace else. So I feel like this is a month of uh, finding your ability to defend yourself against people. To protect yourself against people that don't have your best interest at heart. So this is a month of taking the swords out of your back and going your own way. And that is what I see. And I'm not going to go any further. Good luck.